On this episode, we're going to talk about five things that we've already upgraded. What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Thanks again for stopping in hanging out with us for a while. Today we're going to talk about some of the things that we've already upgraded uh, for our overland trips. The first item is our camping arrangement. After just a few trips, we decided to change our tent. In our first videos, we used a tent that attached directly to the Wrangler. In theory, this worked out real well, but in practicality, it was a little bit cumbersome. It took a long time to set up, and the quality really just wasn't there. With a little more research, we decided on the Gazelle T4. Its size was in the range that we were looking for, and it's extremely easy to put up and take down. The only thing I would have liked to seen different with it is the way that it stows away. It's a little bit big. It has lots of pockets inside and way more than enough ventilation. It has a front and rear door. Both of them are the same size and pretty easy to get in and out of. All in all, we couldn't ask for a better ground tent. It makes putting off for that rooftop tent just a little bit easier. The Gazelle tent is super easy to put up, and I think it's going to work really well for us. Yeah, because I don't have to help. True. So the next item is more for Bill. It's a no-co booster. This is just our old work truck. It's got a dead battery in it. It's completely dead and has been dead for a while. I've got to put a battery in it, but I've got to haul some stuff off today. You can see there is absolutely nothing happening. So the booster that I'm talking about is the NOCO Boost Plus, or the GB40. This thing is great. I've started this truck with it before, not once, but twice on the same charge. Just hook the positive to positive, negative to negative. You hold the exclamation button until it starts charging. Usually it takes about 30 seconds to charge it. The NOCO Booster Plus comes complete with everything you need. It comes with a nice carrying bag. It comes with the cables to hook it up for a battery charger. It even has a flashlight. In addition to the light, being able to boost your vehicle, it also has a USB out. Uh, that way that you can charge your cellular phone, uh, your camera equipment, laptop, whatever you want to. When you get done boosting your vehicle, you're going to need to recharge your Boost Plus. It comes with a cable, cigarette lighter adapter, so while your vehicle's running, you can charge it right back up. So the NOCO Booster really gives us some reassurance that if we leave a light on, or charging something and run our battery dead, then we'll be able to get started back up and be able to get out of the, where we're at. The third item uh, coming up is one of my favorites. Um, I not only use it out on the trail, but I use it here at home too. Good tool to have with you on the trail is a chainsaw. Just not ideal to have gas in an enclosed vehicle. Our solution to that was a battery powered chainsaw. This one from DeWalt has worked really well for us. I have to admit, I was a little bit skeptical about a battery-powered chainsaw. I've used gas-powered chainsaws all my life, but this one really impressed me. I cut two fairly decent-sized trees out of my front yard with it without any problems whatsoever. And now I don't hesitate at all to take it on the trail with us. So the DeWalt chainsaw has been a great addition. Uh, there are plenty of other brands out there that you can use. I like the DeWalt. I've got plenty of batteries for them. Um, it's plenty strong enough to where you could put a little bit larger bar. I've seen some of the videos where they've put up to 14 inch bars on them without any problems. And I really like the fact that the Jeep don't smell like gas. When you sit in the back seat and you have a can of gas back there, it can get really overwhelming. So next on our list is the Vector off-road bar. When we first started overlanding, we had phones laying everywhere and in cup holders and falling off of stuff. We were trying to find a place to put our tablet to where we could be able to watch what's going on. Um, and then we needed a place to put the GoPro, of course. We had it suction cup to the window and it was kind of right in the way. So um, 
we'd seen it on a couple of other YouTube channels. We liked the, the Vector off-road bar, and that's what we went. It's been really good. I've got my phone set up uh, over on the left side. We're able to set the GoPro up uh, in the middle, and it's low enough where it's not really in my field of view. We've added a charger um, there uh, for a couple different USB ports. And then our Samsung tablet here for the Guy GPS uh, works real well and it's not out of the way, or it's not in the way. And then the bar extends all the way across to the passenger side. And at some point, uh, we're going to put a phone mount over there as well. Number five is one of Deb's favorite additions to the Jeep. It's the Next on our list is our XG Cargo storage system. So the biggest part of this is the sportsman wall. It has a little bit of everything. We've got pockets here that's got just all kinds of different stuff in it. It's got the molly clips. Some of the things that we carry in here, uh, on the left side here, we have radio chargers, we have spare batteries, we have boot dryers in case our feet get wet. The next one uh, has a little bit of everything as far as kitchen supplies go. It has Clorox wipes, it has rental wrap, it's got paper towels, it's got trash bags, um, just a whole plethora of things. Moving on, on around, of course we have headlamps, um, and those are hooked to the Molly system with a carabiner. The next one over here, all the way to the right, this is where our silverware, uh, our plates, things like that live. And then of course we've got the Kitchen 24 um, from GSI Solutions that hangs on the Molly system there as well. The Magellan Sports Bar Bag are a nice addition. They have a small pocket here that's easy to get to. Uh, also, they have the Molly uh, system as well. And then you can get to things really easy uh, by the zippers. This one here, we have all of our tent gear in. Uh, so we can just grab it out and take it to the tent with us. On the driver's side Magellan bag, we have things like the NOCO battery charger, paracord, zip ties, and duct tape. Always got to have duct tape. In the little zip bag here below, one of the things that could be a real lifesaver is the Colby uh, tire valve system. That in the event you pull the valve stem out of your wheel, you can actually do a field fix and fix it right on the trail. The Gamma side storage bags have a lot of room in them too. Again, they have the Molly system. Zip these open. This one here has got our fire starter stuff, a small ax, things like that. You can tell there's a whole lot of room still left in these to be used. On the driver's side, this is where I keep a lot of my recovery gear. Our tree saver from Sweetie Built, as well as our toe strap. And if I really get in a bind and I need to take this with me, it's easy to pop out. The bags have a real nice construction. The Velcro is high quality. They're semi-rigid. They have the plastic here that slides in that keeps the sides up where they need to be. And it has a good handle to be able to carry it around. Deb says they're real easy to wash off too. Sometimes we'll have to take the dogs real quick on a search. The wall makes it real easy to put one of the dogs back here and be able to transport them. One of the other things that XG Cargo has done is they've built a floor system that works in conjunction with the wall to keep the dog hair out. With the bags, we were able to clean up a lot of the clutter and stuff that was falling all over the seats. Yeah, I think it was a better way to organize things and be able to keep them in one place uh, when we're up and down hills and things like that, bounces off rocks. It keeps things a lot more in place uh, and things don't bounce around and make near as much noise. I hope you've enjoyed it. These are five things that we found that work better for us. Let us know what's working for you. Thanks again. Leave us some comments below. When you're bored at home, COVID-19 results. Uh. 
We hope you like the videos. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button if you want to know when the next one's coming up. Thanks again for watching Cottywall for Overlands.